guys. How are you? Yeah. Good. Get some energy. Do a backflip, Chris. Woo! Right there. No, he'll fly <laughs> through that window. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> 20 years ago, maybe. Wait, let me get my camera. Right now, definitely uh, not going to happen. Can you do a handspring? No. Cartwheel. No. <laughs> Just checking. No. This week we went to Star Wars. Did everybody enjoy the movie? Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. Okay, uh, I, I thought it was a great opportunity to mix and mingle with uh, our clients. Uh, I met with several of them. They enjoyed the show. I hope that you, you guys enjoy the show. We've been doing Star Wars. I think this was our fourth Star Wars movie. It's always fun. Now, last week Aaron was talking about uh, being emotionally engaged and what makes you emotionally engaged and talking with people and why you choose the stuff that you choose and, and getting to the point that you don't buy things based on price. You buy things based upon your emotional attachment or what you feel that you like about that product. And then we talked about touch points and that we're all touch points. We all have uh, the ability to impact our clients. Is it, why are these the two most important uh, engagement tools? It engages the emotions of other people, the human voice and the face. Okay, would everybody agree with that? Yes. yes. Our goal is to uh, connect with our employees, right? And our goal is to uh, connect with our customers. How we relate to them, how we talk with them, how we interact with them, all these things help our bottom line by, by how do you think that helps our bottom line? What do you think, Ryan Greer? I feel like people, people kind of mimic your um, how you are. So when you come in and you talk to me with a real good attitude and you're positive, a lot of times people will mimic that and I'll write back to you and, and kind of set the bar on how they might feel you know, the job site is. So when our contractors come up and, and our crew is always in a good mood, happy, and, and you know, getting everything done, other crews you know, and other contractors will see that and So what's changed? Yeah, we proved ourselves. We proved that people don't have to worry about us. Okay, good. What else? Pretty much in creating a little bit of our culture, you know. If we show up and we have confidence in what we know we can do, that is conveyed and understood with the people that we work with. Okay, I actually want to go into that more deeply. When you have a customer and they're pushing up against you, they're doing that for a reason, okay? And the reason is, is maybe they don't believe that you can actually do the job. Now look here. There's just some words. What are the words? Technical competence. Have you demonstrated that you technically understand what you got to do? How about flawless systems? Do they see your system? Do you do you demonstrate over and over again that you know what you're doing? Okay. Yes. Understanding the needs. Have you demonstrated that you understand the needs of this unique project? And from what you're saying is you showed up day one and he was pushing back on you, right? And the reason being is because this one emotional state of the customer has not yet been established. When you see and feel that, it then becomes your job, your role, if you want to engage that customer and really start taking them down that path of being emotionally engaged, you need to have clarity. You need to deliver on every one of your promises, commitment, perfection, follow through, laser-like focus, unbending commitment, okay? Everything's written right here on the wall. These are the steps. And when you show up and you start feeling that customer pushing back on you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna use these emotional states to engage them to a point where they go, oh yeah, okay, we're cool, you guys know what you're doing. I think the whole the whole dynamic of that job site is different. At the very beginning, like Fred said, we encountered lots of resistance to what we wanted to do. Creating confidence with our workforce and with the people that we work with. We show them that we know what we're going to do. We finished the job on time. We're in compliance. All these things, it 
goes to our business outcomes. Everybody's happy, everybody's making money, the job sites are good, right? So that's kind of, that is the ultimate goal. So the goal is that, reality is, is not everybody's engaged. Only about 20% of the workforce are emotionally engaged. What is the effect of someone who is not engaged? It's a ripple effect. It's a ripple effect. Completely neutral. Okay, it neutralizes all the good stuff, right? It brings everybody down. The negativity affects everybody as a whole. Everybody that's at that job site. So, we want to make sure that we get our employees <clears throat> to be the best person that they can be. There's a word there, innate. What does that word mean? You're born with it. Huh? Talent. It is unique. It is special to you. It was born as part of you. Okay? You can't change it. Right? And so we need to take those very special, unique characteristics of each one of us and need to maximize. Look at our estimators. Do you think Chris, Aaron, and Jeff are very similar? No, they're not. <laughs> Jeff is quite different than Chris. Chris is quite different than Aaron. They each use a different tactic or a different talent in order to engage customers and create connections, okay? And we need to use the same with our foreman, same with our workers, same with our leadmen, same with our office staff. Use those innate personal talents, personal characteristics, and figure out how to leverage that for the betterment of the project and crew, right? So this is, this is identifying that not all of us are the same, right? It's clearly saying we're all way different, but it's saying that's good, that's special. Use those differences to maximize your effectiveness. So I like going through this company culture. Way back in the beginning, the thing that I liked is it said, you are you, there's certain things and certain talents that you've been blessed with that, that have helped you be successful, and you need to tap in those every day. And I like that. Weird and quirky as you as are. Weird and quirky as you it's are. It's cool to be you. There is there is enough space here for you to be you. Right. It doesn't matter. However you like to do then and there's lots of different ways to do things. And the idea is we want you to be successful. If you are the very best you can be, the one that says the net effect of this is of this effort is what? Party time. Party time. <laughs> success, they're happy. So this is how customers return because of the way they feel. They don't. They don't come back because they got a really great deal. They come back because of the way they feel. If they felt confidence in the workforce, if they thought, oh, you know what, I like Eagle Environmental guys because they always wearing the same stuff. They got Eagle Environmental stuff all over. They return because of the way they feel. That's what we want. We want our our customers to feel like they're our friends. The success depends on an environment which our performers do what they do best every day, over and over again. When you're doing the best that you can, you're happy, you're engaged, and you get other people to be engaged too. If you're disengaged, you also get people to be disengaged with you. So when we talk about our culture, we talk about them is that you use your natural talents every day. We want you guys to be, like Fred, like in that slide, the innate, you, you are unique. You will connect with people different than everybody else. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. We want you to be the most professional, the most intelligent, the most talented person possible. And we're going to invest lots of money and lots of time and lots of energy in you. Because we recognize if you're not successful, then the company cannot be successful. And the idea is we're going to make you worth a whole ton of money. And you could go and get other really cool jobs elsewhere, but this is such a kick-ass, awesome company. And you know that we're going to keep investing in you and vice versa. Do you want to stay here for your whole career? Okay? That's the difference about this organization. And every single new guy, we want to see him sitting in these uh, in these classes so they can get this training to make themselves better and more valuable. They need to learn this culture and how to interact with each other, right? Employing all of our 
core values and our mission statement and so forth, and engage each other, engage our customers, and have success for all, right? What's our, what's our mission statement? Happy, happy employees, employees. Happy, happy customers, customers. make a little money, right? And we switched the order, if you guys noticed in the last year, because it used to be happy customers, happy employees, make a little money. And I recognized, gosh, said, I've been teaching this the wrong way. And so we actually went and had these signs changed. We peeled them off and switched them around. Because we know that happy employees are going to do what? Make happy yeah, customers. Make, make happy customers. But if the employees aren't happy, are they going to make the customer happy? No. no. No, they're unable to. They don't have the capacity to make the customer happy. Okay? The implementation of this is for your personal success. Again, it is the win, win, win. Employee wins. Customer wins. Company wins. And we just keep the energy flowing, right? What does it mean? Success for all. This culture topic kind of reminds me of uh, empowerment. And someone who's empowered is going to be far more committed to their goals and to the goals of the group um, than someone who is uh, disempowered and who feels like they have no say or they have right. no uh, influence that they can bring um, because of their own unique attributes. Uh, and so that uh, it just kind of made me think of empowerment. It, it makes people want to uh, contribute and bring out what they have, the, the strengths that they have, and demonstrate to the people around them that, you know, I, I think I have, we're doing it really good, I think I have an even better way, let's try it out, something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Absolutely. Now, I, I'm glad that you recognize that, because the culture is all built to empower the individual to succeed. Okay? Nobody's holding you back. Alignment incentive is a great uh, illustration of how we basically say, you want more, you can get more, you just do these things, you're totally in control of it, right? This is all about each one of us succeeding together. Culture is philosophy lived. Culture is philosophy lived. We have a philosophy here. And what is our philosophy? Describe the philosophy to you. Anyone want to take a stab at it? Use your talents to better yourself. Use your talents, right? Use your innate abilities. Use your mind and your ideas. Better yourself. Create great conditions for your fellow employees as well as the customer. Right? That's the philosophy. Okay? What do you think it, it, when you say, okay, well, Okay, if it's philosophy live, well then when I talk about like Mexican culture, let's say we go down to uh, the Baja, and that's a culture, right? What is the philosophy there? Well, you see it like in Guadalajara, it's in what? The food, right? The tequila, the music, the art. It is in the smell, it is in the, the taste, it is in the attitude. That's the culture there. Okay, now w our culture is our philosophy lived. <laughs> well, we wish everybody a Merry Christmas and uh, safe New Year and safe travels today. So you guys know that we're taking Friday off, right? Woo. All day Friday, we're not working. You know that we try and do everything we can to give you as much time possible with your families because that's number one, right? We work to live, not live to work, right? So. Let's do what we can in order to provide as much time possible with our mm -hmm. families when it's important. And uh, what do we got to do in order to make that happen? Work our asses off. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you work hard, but then what else do you do? You also get more manpower, right? Go and find 10 people that you think are fabulous, hardworking people and get them to work right alongside of you on your crew in your team. We're going to succeed together, but it takes every single one of us working on it, and that means helping us get more manpower, because let's be real, if we could hire 50 people, we would. 50. Can we do that? Yes. And the way we do it is what? Through warm relationships.
relationships. That's the technical term, warm relationship. And a warm relationship is, is that you have a personal relationship with someone. You understand how they're wired and how they're hooked up and if they're a hard worker or if they're a slacker. And if they're a slacker, don't bring them, okay? If they're a hard worker and they're honest, then that's the kind of person to say, hey, guess what? There's a place that I work and you know what? You can succeed there and you can have a career there and you make really good money and I think you should come work with me, right? That's through warm relationships, okay? And if you hire the right person, what do you get? You know what you get? Count it, count it, 500 bucks. And in what increments? Milestones, so three weeks, right? We want you to prove yourself that you're, you're able to do the job for the okay. first so three weeks. So in three weeks? 100 bucks. Okay, and then? Uh, then in three months, another 100. Okay. Six months, 150. Okay. A year, 150 again. Cash. 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 So Cold, hard Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> right in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, we all succeed together. I want to thank you, okay? I want to thank you guys. And Chris, you know what? I want to thank you. Right? Because we all work hard together. We all succeed together. And the interdependent relationship that we have creates success for all. Guys, congratulations. Good job.